Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer here, back to conclude the last 32 round and we got two more matches to finish. As we see Maximum Pyrus take on DBW's original gangsters, and then Dinosaur Queen 777 versus the hosts. Right, let's get on with it. Alrighty then, up first for Maximum Pyrus we have a Shunasaurus. Maximum Pyrus managing to secure their qualification via Group G. Um, but again, it's been ups and downs for Maximum Pyrus, but they did, they have managed to get this far. As for DBW though, in the blue, red, blue corner, we have a Tyrannosaurus, and we definitely saw what this behemoth did in its previous match against Chompsan, giving DBW the title of being the only combatant in this tournament to win a match 3-0. However, I can't see him winning 3 0 this time because this Shunosaurus will have the type advantage over this T Rex. So that does nullify the damage Blazing Spin Attack can do. However, the T Rex does get off the first hit. However, one Hydro Cutter from that Shunosaurus pretty much swings the match in Maximum Pyrus's favour. Oh, how big was that there? Actually, that might be that might work get work against for the Shunosaurus. Actually, yeah, I think it will. Yeah, because it did, yeah he did more he did more damage than he would have with Blazing Spin because of the type disadvantage. So wow, the Blunder type actually backfiring. And look at this! Despite having the type disadvantage, the T Rex defeats the Shunosaurus and gives DBW a one 0 lead. Again. I still don't think DBW is going to win 3 0, but now with the Shunosaurus dead, I think he could. I think he could win another match 3 0. Okay, as for Pyrus' second dino, we have a Lanzusaurus. Lanzusaurus is going to have to pick up the Shunosaurus' slap here if, if Pyrus wants to get back in the match. Oh, come on, then, the generate the generate. Come on. Don't, come on now. Ah, there, four. Ooh, that's a tie. But I think the T Rex won't mind that because DBW is in the lead. Oh my god, is Maximum Paris even going to get a hit this match? I mean, he's doing damage with a tie, but. Is he going to get an actual hit? Or is anyone going to get an actual hit? The answer is DBW is going to get a hit. And I think... No, I don't think this will be lethal. But it will leave the Lanzusaurus on very low health. Like so. DBW on the brink of taking a 2-0 lead. Oh, that's another tie. Oh, and finally Maximum Pyrus gets a hit, but the Dino Stuffer is going to say no no to that. The T-Rex is still alive. Ooh, how big could that be? Because if that, if that were resolved, the T-Rex would have died. Okay, I think the T-Rex is dead anyway. Are we going to see Ford Whip? Nope. And nope, the T-Rex survived anyway. Okay, now it's dead. As dead as a doornail. Definitely dead. Dead, dead, dead. Very, very dead. Maximum Pyrus pulling it back. And it will not be a 3-0 win this time for DB Dublin. Well, he might not win the match anyway, but, you know. He's not going to win 3-0, as I said. Anyway, as for DBW's second dino, we didn't see it in his last match. The Lambiosaurus. Can this Lambiosaurus finish off the Lanzusaurus? Or can Maximum Pyrus pull back the match? Well, if he keeps getting off crits, he will. Look at this. The Lanzusaurus not dead yet. Oh, and here comes the Tail Smash. But it will not do too much damage. Well, it shouldn't, because Lanzusaurus's other two moves are quite weak compared to its crit. 
but it does leave Lambiosaurus's HP in the red. And it does pull the match back for Maximum Pyrus. Oh, I think DBW might be in a bit of trouble here. From almost going 2-0 down, the Lanzusaurus is going to give Maximum Pyrus a 2-1 lead. However, it is a slender one. Right, as for DBW's third and final dino, we have a Pachycephalosaurus. Actually, th th I should mention that the winner of this match will either face me or Dinosaur Queen in the last 16, and if, it, if I manage to get through, I'd probably rather face Maximum Pyrus, because... Actually, yeah, I'd, I'd love to face Maximum Pyrus, because I'd have a type advantage over his whole team. My Chasmosaurus would be at a, an advantage against his Shunosaurus, then my Megaraptor would be at an, at an advantage against his Lanzusaurus, and then my Baryonyx would be at a, an, an advantage over his Gigas. Speaking of Gigas, here is our Gigas, the Spectral Armor Gigas. DBW not done yet, and both our combatants are reduced to their third dinos. Actually, DBW wouldn't be a bad matchup for me either, because while his T-Rex may be a problem, if I can get through it quickly, I'll have a type advantage over his Lambiosaurus with my Megaraptor, and then he's just Pachycephalosaurus, which is the big threat. But in terms of matchups, I'd much rather face Maximum Pyrus. Again, this all to lose if, as if... Uh, again, this only applies if I actually get through, which I could, which I may not. <laughs> anyway, back to this match. Maximum Pyrus looking really strong. And here comes what's this, a flare sword. Oh yeah, I forget he's got the Goma moves. Look at this. I think Maximum Pyrus is going to be going through to the last 16. And DBW is going to be going home. Although, DBW not beaten yet. Does get off a hit on Gygus. And all his secret moves have been triggered. A one laser ray attack will end this match and get DBW the win. But a laser ray is not what's going to be happening. And instead, the Gigas gets off the hit and puts Maximum Pyrus through to the last 16. And now he's probably got to hope that Dinosaur Queen 777 can pull off a win. Otherwise, well, otherwise if I get through, he's literally not going to win. <laughs> Well, unless he gets really insane luck with the RNG. Anyway, that's enough of this match. And we're going to go on with the final match of the last 32, which is one I'm bricking myself for. Well, here we go. It's finally my turn. But at first in the red corner for Dinosaur Queen 777, we have a Tajongosaurus. We definitely saw what this beast of a Stegosaur can do. And I feel like this is the key. For, di for Dinosaur Queen is this guy because it will be at a type advantage against my Alpha Chasmosaurus and if she gets off a rock roller I, I might actually be in a lot of trouble. If that Tajonosaurus gets off too many hits I could actually be out. So yeah I'm kind of bricking it and not, it's not a good matchup for me. Anyway as for my Dino we have an Alpha Chasmosaurus and after talking trash about it and saying how trash it was and saying that how I wish I didn't use it, it's actually been doing pretty good for me, so hopefully we can keep it up. Oh, the, the first hit goes to Dinosaur Queen, and it's a critical block. Which means she's basically guaranteed a hit next round as well. So she'll be going rock, and I shall be going rock as well. Here's the tie. Good start from Dinosaur Queen. Oh, that's another tie. Oh no! Oh, there's a rock roller I feared. There's that rock roller I feared, and that is death for Chasmosaurus. And a 1 0 lead for Dinosaur Queen. Oh, <laughs> this is not going well, is it? Oh, come cool, on, Mega Raptor, you're gonna have to pull your finger out here. As for Stranger Second Dino, we have a Mega Raptor. And it's definitely going to have to pull its work out here because that Tujongosaurus is looking pretty impressive. And if she, if she gets another Rock Roller off, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. If she gets another Rock Roller off, I think I'm screwed. 
Now I co I come back against so I can come back against Dinosaur Queen. Oh, there's a tie. But that's not what I want. I want a hit. Of course. Are you gonna let me have a hit? <laughs> oh, another hit from the Tishogasaur! And another critical block! Which means the Dinosaur Queen's gonna get another hit in next round. Well, it'll either be a hit or a tie, but she's basically guaranteed to get a hit off. And again, it's a tie. But that Rock Roller has been triggered again. And she's going for it. But not getting it this time. The Mega Raptor stopping that Rock Roller, but not killing the Tajongasaurus. Oh, but the Tajongasaurus getting off a hit. And a Giga Rock Hammer might kill the Mega Raptor, but there's the Dino Illusion. How helpful could that be? Uh, I don't think this will be useful. Well, it shouldn't be. No, didn't think so. Dino Illusion there might be key for Stranger to get back in the match. Oh, and he's killed the Tajongasaurus. At least I hope. Yeah, the Tajongasaurus finally biting the big one, but... Dinosaur Queen definitely did some damage with it. And as for a second dino, we have a Rugops. Who again, like Tajongasaurus, packs an insanely powerful crit with that Hurricane Beat. Of course, the Hurricane Beat only activates, gets triggered after a loss. And I and I don't, well, I've gotten a few hits off, but I haven't got too many hits off, so. We don't, we, but we don't know if we'll see it. And the Mega Raptor is still protected by Dino Illusion. So that could be key, but that may not matter. Oh, what's a tie? A tie is just what the Queen wants. Oh, but the Mayfly is just what Stranger wants. Big damage coming Rugox's way. And Stranger, after a slow start, has pulled the match back. And I'd probably say, I'd probably say I'm on top now because of that Dino Illusion, but... If the next round is a tie, then the Mega Raptor will die. And there is a tie. And the Rugop survives with a sliver of health, so Dinosaur Queen still has a narrow lead. Alright, as for Syringe's third dino, we have a Super Baryonyx. We definitely saw what this thing can do. And it's definitely going to have to pull its, pull its finger out here to pick up from Chasmosaurus's slack. Of course, Dinosaur Queen still has the slender lead, and if she gets off a hurricane beat, then I feel like I'm gonna lose. Okay, no hurricane beat. And the tie defense type didn't activate, so the Rugots is gonna bite the big one. But now for the big brute. As for Dinosaur Queen's third dino, we have a Kralophosaurus. Ooh, it's, it's such a tense encounter because if I lose, I'm out. You know, if I lose in the group stage, you know, I can just... It doesn't... Well, it does matter, but it, it's not the end of the world. You can still pull it back. But you lose here, that's it. That's game over. <sighs> oh, the crowd gets the crit! Oh. Okay, that's one. I don't think we're going to see Awaken Mode, to be honest. We'll kill each other too quick. Oh, the Baryonyx gets a hit! God, Shockwave, we need a Shockwave! Oh, it's a Shockwave! Exactly what Stranger wants! Because the Cryo won't be getting off any hits next round. That's twice. Okay, crit. Ooh, but it is a tie. Oh, it's a crit! Have I done it? And the Softening Beam coming in. Could have done with that last round. A shockwave here might just get me over the line. Oh, it's a shockwave! Yeah, that's done it. <laughs> and that will be Stranger safely through to the last, 30, last 16 because, regardless of what this outcome is, the softening beam will increase the damage Dinosaur Queen will take in the tie, and it's not even a tie, it's a hit. So the Cryolophosaurus is going down no matter what. And the Baryonyx pulls it away for Stranger. Oh, That was a tough match. Like, 
everything I feared would happen actually happened. You know, the rock okay. roller, the Tajongasaurus getting on top early on, Dinosaur Queen almost going 2-0 up. You know, it kind of happened. But it didn't happen and just pulled it back. But yeah, she definitely put up a really good fight and... You know, she could have gone through on another day, but that Shockwave definitely won it for me. 100% Shockwave won it. If I didn't get Shockwave off, I probably would have lost. But anyway, that's how it goes, and that is a fine way to conclude the last 32 round. So yep, here's our light matchups for the last 16. We will see a rematch between Cryonova and Ultima Dino Queen. We will see Nopi taking on Shadow Force. Slight for Sky Dragon X against Tor, Louse taking on Aladar, Ultimate Dino King going up against Star Pumpkin, Pilk taking on Darius, Lepoke against the champion team, and then Maximum Pyrus against the hosts. Ooh, what a match. What a couple of matches we got to look forward to. But yeah, that will conclude the last 32, so stay tuned for next time, where we will kick off the last 16 round with these two matches. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.